on the chase, but Bloodsport's weapon now full bore. Oh, jeez! What the heck was that? Bloodsport just destroyed its spinner in that exchange, Chris. That tri-blade is now a dual blade, and that is going to be a big problem for the number two seat. Holy smokes, and there's no way that thing's gonna run again. So now does Gruff have the major advantage? Somebody get some duct tape for our BattleBot sign and do not light that thing on fire. That costs $5.99, stay away from it. How about that modification there with those chunks of steel that the chocolate bars, as Gruff likes to call it, work perfectly. So the number two overall seed in this tournament, back on its heels early in this one as it gets caught on the front of Gruff, and Gruff pouring on the flames now. A nice counter by Bloodsport using their broken weapons momentum to free themselves there. Bloodsport obviously cannot fire up that weapon to full speed, so how in the world can it win, Kenny? Well, you're seeing it right here. They need to fall back on the elite driving skill of Justin Marple, stay aggressive, and try and control the action here. If you get enough control and aggression points, you still can win this fight. Oh, Brooks, very close to getting a flip there. Bloodsport still has those two front wedgelets intact and has done a really good job of using those to get underneath Gruff, who at this point it doesn't seem to really be moving very well, Kenny. Spot on, Chris. Here comes Bloodsport driving Gruff into the rails. Under a minute to go now. Stay away from the front. Stay away from the front. You can hear the team members for Bloodsport saying, don't give up. Even though our primary weapon is down, we can still win this fight. And look at that, the pulverized dropping down, doing some damage on Gruff. They are still very determined to beat this tough Gruff. And now Bloodsport taking a hit from the Pulverizer. Can the number two seed overcome the loss of its primary weapon, or will we see a giant upset? Well, the good news for Bloodsport is Gruff is just not driving very well. I think the hits on Gruff are really taking its toll on it uh, as well. Closing in on 20 seconds to go. Yeah, Gruff is having major drive issues. Hasn't been able to do much damage since that opening exchange. Oh, but it manages to rip off one of Bloodsport's wedgelets right there. Some nice last minute points by Gruff, and there goes the other one. A lot to digest here as these two bots end up going the distance. Good job. I think we still won that. We did do it. This is going to be a remarkable decision by the judges. Very challenging as it goes to the scorecard. That weapon so ferocious for Bloodsport. Oh. But my gosh, the energy in that collision just wrecked Bloodsport's blade and put the number two seed back on its heels. But to his credit, Justin Marple did not panic. Instead, he went to work and outdrove Gruff the rest of this match. That's right, Bloodsport was able to dictate the action, get underneath Gruff and push it around the battle box. You know, Gruff did get the flamethrower involved, but was definitely struggling in the mobility department for the back half of this fight. This is going to be a tough one to call. Bloodsport drove an awesome fight. I'm just not sure they're going to be able to overcome the loss of that weapon, Chris. Does the number two seed survive? Let's find out.